And game number five is now underway, and it might get busy this time by... As we do have other members of the match hopping at least a little bit closer, looking towards the sweaty sands again. Whenever there was some sort of crazy engage early, it seemed to always happen there. So... I'm curious if the Saints are going to try and get aggressive early, or if they're just going to uh, try to take a more passive route. I know in game number four, it was a little bit quieter there for them, and it did cost them a little bit in regards to the points in their leaderboard, as they do fall from second now down to fourth. But don't get me wrong, that is still a fantastic p position against about a hundred other collegiate teams here tonight. And of course, I totally forgot going at the end of that one. Will Siri find a legendary weapon this game? He did not. So, everybody who voted no, congratulations on your channel points. For the prediction for game number five, we're going to play the elimination game once again. Will the Saints get ten or more? Or nine or less this time. Bye. Drop your predictions in the chat now. Excuse me, I need a second to catch my breath there. It's been a fantastic evening so far of just constant Fortnite action. Low-key, I'm going to be very excited here for these play versus regular season matches, too, when they do get underway. Especially since it's just match back to back to back to back. Because before the one time we did an ace, before we had these play versus... Uh, Preseason and then regular season matches. It had been a good little while since we had the opportunity to get Fortnite on the stream at all. So, it's uh, nice to have them back, back swinging with lots of content, of course, with their season just getting started. We'll be seeing them quite often, especially on Wednesday nights moving forward. As I think, other than Fortnite, I'm going to fact check myself real quick. Other than Fortnite, what do we have? As for right now, absolutely nothing. So you can expect Fortnite to be the home here for Saints on Wednesday nights. If this is the way it's going to keep up. Unless some sort of uh, leak pops out of nowhere. What is this? We have Junie's number one fan here in the chat. I feel like you might have some competition. Okay, now the Saints are just being greedy here. We have a transport truck. We have a sports car. Is everybody just going to have their own personal ride here today? I mean, Siri might need a lift. I think he's running low on gas. Yeah, sure enough. He's going to get picked up here by Lasix's... Uh, Sports car, Gary, the move on forward. Passing over a weapon, of course. He does have himself that heavy assault rifle once again. <coughs> so, look to make good use of that, of course. But, of course, one thing that we did see early in the... Uh, or not early, but late in, so I think it was game number three. Where uh, series gun basically went dry right in the end game. Did not have enough ammo. And it really put the Saints in a bit of an awkward position.
And then Saint's going to opt against any sort of vehicle and just try to truck it all the way into the safe zone. On foot, that is. Keep it quiet. Here I was thinking that there was going to be a uh, engagement to start things off. However, the team did seem to go to, or the team that fell with them went to Sweaty Sands and have been basically just avoiding the Saints so far. Probably wise. I got a couple seconds left here on the prediction, of course. Nobody is going for 10 or more. Not expecting a bloodbath here from the Saints. Does anybody want to throw in one point just to do the $1 bob? As we do see, Saints already finding themselves in an engagement here. In this game, I don't know if the lobby was a little bit smaller or what, but we're already down to 51 players out of nowhere, so... Either it was an extremely bloody start to this game, or maybe this lobby didn't have a full 90. I did not, unfortunately, catch that as we hopped into the game itself. I wonder if... If hopping on the stream while streaming will show me this number. Okay, it did look like it was about 70 players that started. So, a bit of a smaller lobby this time here for the Saints to deal with. Some long-range pot shots coming back and forth here, but the Saints are in the safety of the Eye of the Storm, so they don't have to move too, too far if they do not want to. Opt to loot the house. We do hear some sniper shots coming from outside. Lasix, Juni, both in their own separate mini force, and that shot nearly goes whizzing by. Sirius barely going to keep himself out of dodge. Of course... Maybe sitting there 100, 100, but a sniper headshot could very well do 200. <laughs> and then because this was a bit of a smaller lobby, you're going to be able to earn a bunch of points based off of positions right off the bat. And now it's going to get messy. I hear a car coming. Where is it? It's actually that truck. A solid shot. Going to dink one off a player, and the rest is going to hit the car. Two cars. Probably the same teammates, I would imagine. I can't imagine two teams uh, going with each other, chasing each other down in their cars. I feel like that'd be a bad time. Bit of a far shot there for Siri if you want to try and make any sort of damage onto the car. And to be honest, probably not worth wasting the bullets. And then this is just... It feels like we have the same kind of loadout once again here for uh, for Siri. Just has himself a, uh, a mid-range, a long-range option there with the assault rifle. Have a shotgun for something close. And then he'll probably trade out one of these uh, shield sections, some of these shield drinks, for a sniper if he can find one. Unfortunately for him, has not been able to do so just yet. Now, hover around the Salty Towers. We do see one player off in the distance here across the street. A couple shots were fired, of course, but nothing was tagged. So now, things are going to get to move on forward. Just a moment. Let's see. Okay, there we go. A little bit of a lag spike there, but we're back in business. And 
And then other than those few players that did drive on by, that is going to be uh, basically it in regards to engagement to start things off. Does allow the Saints to farm up once again. They got their Guilty Gear dashes back again, so they're going to be able to just zip around all over the place. Definitely a good thing, considering the wide open nature here of this, uh, this Salty Towers area. And now... Siri's looking to get aggressive. He got the jump on those players, but did not quite make contact with any shots. He opts to pursue. One player off by himself. Going to be tagged up a little bit. 36 damage done to his shields. And now do they try to camp the players stuck in the box? What's in the box? It's two of them. And they just took Siri's shields. And he's not in a comfortable position to try and get them back. He's going to try anyway here. Try and sneak in a couple of these small potions. He's going to be able to do so. Does have the potion as well to, or the, the drink to uh, get himself up to full shields, but not going to quite be 100 100, but still very healthy indeed. Did the players against him retreat while Siri was stuck taking a drink, however? Not 100% sure. There's a chest actually, literally just teasing me right now. Just want to see what's inside, but. Siri cannot expose himself here, otherwise he is going to absolutely get blasted. Does find the opportunity, and it's actually a med kit, so will definitely be needed. I would not be surprised to see somebody on the side of the Saints pick up that med kit. Yeah, this is a very awkward spot now here for the Saints, as uh, Siri for the longest time was completely separated from the team. Lasix is down to actually a quarter of shield, quarter uh, health as well. Juni there with the backup, however, has the med kit ready for his teammate and going to be able to top him up just fine. Messy situation averted. Storm about to move in the next 30 seconds. Saints are basically already in the safe zone. And they're going to go right back to that hut and see if those uh, players are still there. Sure enough, they are long gone by now. Sniper shots coming from somewhere, and we're actually seeing a, a battle between the two towers here right in the right to the south of Salty Towers. Thankfully, that dash does make it a little bit harder to get hits, but that being said, though, somebody had themselves a good shot. So you're going to be taking some heat, but by taking that damage, he has been able to put a small start for a fort for his team. I think that was Juni that has arrived. Slaysix is right there as well. Shot's going to tag him up at least a little bit, but not a lot of damage. As we go back to Prairie Dog and we're waiting for the storm to arrive to figure out your next move. Don't want to commit your resources if you have to move. We see again Siri down to next to nothing in regards to wood, but has uh, brick and steel for days as of this moment. But we've seen how fast that can deplete. And there's actually a player coming up on the doorstep. He's going to get open fired upon, but he was already in the midst of building. He's going to get knocked down to the ground. Shots from two angles. Bit of an awkward spot here. Third party situation could very well be involved here for the Saints. Possibly pulled the trigger a little bit too soon here. And they're going to get aggressive. Looking to hop onto the, the roof of that player's uh, mini fort attached to theirs. Snipe shots going wide, and shots going on to Siri. Going to be trading a little bit of damage onto each other's shields, but that is the gist of it. Siri basically getting ready to go point blank here with this player. Has a shotgun in hand, ready to go. 
Ops against it, goes back to the long range or in the mid-range battle. And for a skirmish, I still feel like it's a little bit early in regards to time. Maybe not early in regards to how many players are still left here in the game. As there is, of course, 43 players still here in this round. I'm going to take the bouncy pad and get themselves out of dodge. But can they get themselves into a safe position? Of course, Storm was not in their favor, so they had to make a move. Was the very edge, just where the storm's located. Not gonna, people not expecting that the Saints will be here, however, so it's going to be 60 damage done to one of the players. <laughs> A couple band-aids around, but at the same time, considering how long it takes to use those and how little health they actually give you, we'll probably see the Saints bypassing that even though they're basically going to be traveling with the wave here, with the storm, as there's 10 seconds before it gets moving. Where are the Saints? Are they all together? It looks like they just about are, and now they're going to start making a run for it, because they absolutely have to. Next second or two before they get on the move. There's one more chest here. They're going to agree for it. They're going to get it, and they're going to be able to find at least some um, healing with those from that chest. So at least they're going to be able to top themselves up 100 to 100 each. But can they get back in the dodge? Back into the, the eye of the storm before they take any damage. As of right now, it looks like they will be okay. And taking a look at the predictions as it is completed, of course, everybody assumes that the Saints are going to find nine or less. I mean, they had the one standout game earlier where they did get close to it, I do believe. But at the same time, they haven't quite been able to hit that ever since. They've been playing a bit more of a safer game since about game four. So with mixed results, yes, they've been into the final... Final bunch, top tens, top fives. But maybe not scoring as much as they wish to. Bit of a last second farming opportunity there for Siri. And now, it's chaos time. With 39 players left to go here, Storm's about to start making things extremely messy here for everybody involved still in the game. Fortnite players are built different. Absolutely, when I see these guys build as quickly as they do, it is definitely a skill like no other in esports. A little bit of a rough opportunity there as uh, Siri does get himself jumped on. Uh, Juni looks like took a little bit of heat as well. Still has above three quarters, or they both have about three quarters of shields left, so not terrible. Didn't take too much, but still a little bit annoying to say the least. Saints are in good position, and they're actually going to go point blank here with another team. They're going to harpoon themselves actually above the Saints, trying to get the high grounds. But Siri was on hot pursuit, opting to stay close, considering the rest of his teammates are a little bit on the lower grounds. Does spot another teammate, puts the wall up just in time. Otherwise, he would have absolutely ate the butt end of that shotgun. Juni is going to go down, unfortunately, there for the St. Clair squad. Right before anything could really happen, just gets taken down. Good shotgun blast, going to take him out. Basics and Siri, nice and close to each other, one above the other at least. So they could still very well work together. Oftentimes in those skirmishes, it's very easy to just both take separate directions and never be able to follow up with anybody. But not only are they able to follow up on each other, they're straight up healing each other, giving each other as much time as possible by keeping them all topped off in regards to shields and everything. Storm's about to move again, and then right along the path of it is actually a care package as well. So not only is this going to be a difficult place to move to, but you have a very valuable package right along the path. <coughs> Juni's revive card, or reboot card rather, is available. Of 
the same time, I think it's probably too risky for the Saints to actually go for it. As much as they'd love to have their third member back into this game, I don't think what on earth is this? The subterranean <laughs> assault was actually spotted out. So they're going to get knocked out of it, but it does allow them to push forward at least into the next fort. Yeah, as much as they'd love to have their third member back into this, just trying to get to the van, which was close at the time. Actually, no, that was not a van close at the time. That was a symbol for the card. But yeah, you're not going to find yourself a reboot van anywhere near this location. What am I talking about? Six and Siri keep themselves safe as of this moment. And we're lagging right as we get into the heat of things. A little bit fuzzy for a moment. It'll go back, I swear. But now, we see, or we can hear shots fired basically everywhere from this or around this Saints squad. Here, I'm seeing some Ghost Saints in the chat, and this is absolutely send the energy because it's about to get nutty. 30 players still left to go in such a small eye of the storm. The late game battle has arrived. Can they survive it? Siri is in a very awkward spot. He has absolutely no materials, and the Saints are going to place themselves outside the top 10 for the first time here tonight, I do believe. Going to put themselves at 227 points now. We'll have to see in a second where that puts them in regards to the overall standings here for this Fortnite preseason session. Of course, in the grand scheme of things, this basically is all going to get reset going into next week's regular season. But still, being able to say that you've won the preseason would be absolutely huge. And let's take a look. It looks like Siri's actually taking a look and seeing where they are in regards to their, their positioning. And some of it is still loading. So we won't quite know just yet here. But for those who did say that the Saints were not going to get themselves um, 10 eliminations, you would be correct. You're going to get yourselves the points. And it's probably a... Uh, probably a... Uh, what should I call it? A good thing that all 100% of you <laughs> voted that the Saints were not going to get that. Worst time for an ad. Yes, unfortunately, Twitch throws that on there automatically here for us, regardless of uh, what we do. So definitely do apologize that the ad came in in the middle of uh, middle of the action. But I'm going to get ready for would be match number six. With the way that this is going, we may have this one and one other match, and then we're going to run out of time. Of course, we do get the maximum of 10 games, but the Saints have been living for so long that they may not be able to get themselves 10 games. And if they don't go out guns blazing on these two, I feel like technically having less games would put them at like, the severe disadvantage, I would feel like. But we'll see momentarily. We will hop into game number six in just a few moments. We'll hop back into it when we're on the battle bus.